First of all, there is just a pride that is a crutch for insecurity. If you ever meet anybody or if you've ever been insecure in your life, you tend to lean on pride, right? You tend to prop yourself up a little bit. You tend to say, well, you know, I'm this and that, and that doesn't matter because you're hurting and you're insecure. You, you know that kind of pride? Anybody ever seen that kind of pride before? Right? That's, that's kind of the more common thing we see. Um, and you try to justify your place because you're hurting. You're insecure about something. Something's lacking in your life, and you're looking for a means to meet that need. Or you're trying to justify why you're lacking, so you're leaning on pride to cover up your pain because you're ashamed of something. That kind of pride is one kind of pride. Another kind of pride is where you have ambition in you. Where you want what the world has. Like uh, 1 John chapter 2 says, you know, do lust, you know it says, um, don't lust with your eyes. He warns us to lust. You know, lust, don't lust with your eyes. 1 John chapter 2. And it says, stay away from the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. That I'm going to make it in my own power. I'm going to do it in my own strength. I'm going to make all this happen. The world teaches us this. And they admire this. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but it's of the world. So, how do you get successful in life then? See, this, we don't talk about this. You get successful by finding and walking in God's ways. Because God has the ability to put you in power and give you authority. Because God says, I will take the humblest of men and I'll put them in highest places of authority. He says, he that humbles himself, I will exalt him in due time. He says, I give grace to the humble. Who gets, who gets grace? The humble. The humble.